I am Dr. Miguel Hernández Prieto. I am an experienced researcher working on microbial photosynthesis. When we think of photosynthesis, we, our mental image comes to a plan. But cyanobacteria, unicellular organisms, can do exactly the same process. So why is cyanobacteria and plants use lye? Cyanobacteria cannot get to the size of a plant. Well, that's it because plants are multicellular, made of million cells, and cells is the smaller living form. To simplify things, we will represent cells as spheres. A spherical cell can be cut in half to visualize the inside. And if we look from the um, side of the cell, we will see that the cell is surrounded by a plasma membrane. And this plasma membrane delimits at the volume of the cell. While many su substances and gases can permeate the, the plasma membrane, many molecules are transported through protein complexes within the membrane. This transport is essential for the input of nutrients into the cell, but also to get rid of toxic waste generated within the cell. Larger cells will need a larger surface to exchange substances. The problem is that when a cell becomes larger, the volume increases faster than the surface, and this can be easily visualized if we imagine a perfect spherical cell of radius r. Both the area and the volume are proportional to the radius of the sphere. A cell with a radius 5 nanometer will have an area of around 314 square nanometers and a volume of around 523 cubic nanometer, and thus an area per volume of 0.6. A cell with a radius of 50 nanometer will have a larger area of approximately 31,415 square nanometer and a volume of approximately 523,000 cubic nanometer, having an area to volume ratio of approximately 0.06. The 10 times larger radius of the larger cell has resulted in a small surface area to volume ratio. Therefore, we have a bigger volume that requires requires more nutrients and produce more waste and a smaller surface to exchange it. And this is the main factor limiting the cell size. And we can see in this slide the smaller cells can get all the, the nutrients and release all the waste that need to um, thrive, while the larger cells only can get part of the nutrients that need for the large volume and can also get rid only of a small portion of its waste. But not all cells are spherical. In plants, it is common to find cubic cells. Epithelial cells in the intestine contain folds, called microvilli, that increase the surface to volume uh, ratio. And if you look through the microscope to cyanobacteria cells, you will be amazed at the variety in shape. Life in all its forms is worth studying.